Hey everybody, Dylan Schumacher, Citadel Defense, and today we're going to talk about weapons caches. Weapons caches, weapons cache, operational caches, operation cache, however you want to pronounce it, whatever term you want to use, that's what we're going to talk about here. So here I'm going to show you in a minute my kind of layout that I've made for my first weapons cache. And there's two goals for me for this weapons cache. Uh, one is to have all the equipment, all the tools I would need for the fight, right? So I'm not talking about things like that are important, but, but things like extra socks or food or water or a change of clothes or a coat or you know stuff like that. That's not the goal of this cache. Are all of those things important and valid? Yes, but that's not what's included here. This is just simply the tools for the fight, right? What I would need so I could get enough gear on that's necessary in order to win the fight, whatever that may or may not be. Okay, so that you gotta keep that in mind. There are the parameters of this, of this weapons cache. The second purpose of this weapons cache is I'm gonna store this in a location where I go to classes semi-regularly so that I no longer have to transport uh, firearms and equipment and ammo and all that stuff uh, to the location in order, in order to take classes. So the goal there and that, the goal in that is then to have a bunch of stuff there so that I can just show up. I don't have to worry about transporting a bunch of guns and everything and uh, and all my stuff's there and I can just take a class and take classes there. So it, it's a two-fold purpose that I'm, that I'm going to have for this weapons cache, right? Um, primary purpose and primary use, let, let's hope, hopefully, <laughs> uh, is going to be classes. Secondary use would be that, you know, if I needed it, I can have all the tools for the fight that are going to be accessible in this in this weapons cache. So you gotta understand that as we're going through it because you could comment like, well, you don't have this or that or the other thing or a flying helicopter or an emergency parachute or whatever. And that's true and those things are great, but you can only have so many things. And like I said, this is a purpose and parameters around what this is. Uh, third note or second note, whatever I'm number I'm on, it, when you're building one of these and you're thinking about one of these through for yourself, I would first invite you to identify the purpose, right? What are you trying to accomplish here? It can be as simple as like a pistol and two mags and a couple boxes of ammo, you know, and stuff that in a little bag and that can be your weapons cache, right? Like it, it just, what's the purpose? What are you trying to accomplish with it? That that's important to understand what you want to do with it. To just store guns to store guns, maybe that's what you want to do, maybe that's what you're gonna do, I don't know. But but have an idea of what it is that you're trying to accomplish, okay? And the second thing I would invite you to do is to consider uh, laying out all of your stuff on the floor or on a big tarp outside or something like that so you can see it all at once. That's a, that's a thing they do in the military. You know, all my military guys are like, yeah, duh, Dylan, come on. Uh, but you'll lay everything out on a tarp, right? You'll put a tarp out on the grass. You'll lay everything out that you're gonna take on that mission so you can just see everything in one, in one spot. And that's a really good way to determine what's needed, to realize what's missing. Uh, I laid all this stuff out. I thought I had everything. And then I realized, oh, I'm missing a couple things. So I made a list, went and grabbed some more stuff and then laid it all out and looked at it again. So again, that, that's just a helpful device to try to figure out when you're figuring out what should be in your kit. I mean, that'd be a good way to look through that. And or, you know, in this case, my weapons cache and what should be in the weapons cache. Just lay it all out on the floor and get a really good visual and understanding of what is and isn't here. And then if you want, you can go the extra step and put it all on, right? And decide, oh yeah, no, I, I am missing this or I am missing that or whatever. That could help you out. So that's just an advice tip that hopefully you find helpful. Without further ado, let's get to the weapons cache and I will show you what I'm gonna put in my weapons cache. Uh, first up, as far as bags go and what all this stuff's gonna go in, I have a old Ur uh, Maxpedition kind of side satchel pouch here. I think this is the Fat Boy, I think this is what this is called. I can't honestly remember. I have a video on this on the channel, but this is a good bag. I don't use it a whole lot anymore though. And I just want, the idea here is that I want a bag that I can just kind of pal around town in uh, and or just a smaller gear bag to be able to carry some of the stuff if I decide to do it that way. So that's what that is for. I have a larger backpack, uh, just some cheaper Amazon nylon backpack thing that I got off uh, Amazon, obviously. And uh, purpose there is, of course, to just carry all the other stuff that won't fit in a gun bag. I have a video on this on the channel as well, but this is a double rifle case. Uh, and this is going to be the primary bag that kind of holds and supports everything that will be in the cache here. Uh, first up, of course, is we have a rifle. 
because you need one of those, right? So this rifle actually is a Franken gun. Um, I had my buddy Peter over at Whiskey Outpost, uh, Whiskey Outpost, Minnesota, if you're in the market for a rifle, put it together for me. I had bought the lower years ago, and I just let him kind of do whatever he wanted to put the rest of the gun together. And this is what I ended up with, and then I painted it. So this is the rifle that's going to go in there. Uh, I got a Surefire light on here, and then an Aimpoint uh, Pro up top. I'm going to run a two-point sling on this particular rifle. For a pistol, I have a Smith & Wesson M&P uh, with a TLR-1 on it. Uh, this is one of the old M&P-9s. This is like the original, I don't know if it's Gen 1, it's probably Gen 2 of the kind of original M&P-9s. Not the 2.0, just the original M&P-9. And uh, it used to be a buddy of mine's gun, I purchased it from him, but we uh, he stippled the grip and did some other things, put the nice, nicer trigger in there. And uh, I added the TLR-1, so which currently works. So that's good. So that'll be the pistol Ameriglow sight. That's Amer Ameriglow sights on this thing. I'll carry that in a Bravo concealment outside the waistband holster. I have a Bravo concealment uh, two mag pouch, which in retrospect I probably should have just went with a single mag pouch, but the double mag pouch works fine. It just gets a little tiresome if you're going to wear it for long periods of time. Uh, Bravo concealment AR pouch. I'll take four mags for the pistol. Uh, I got a couple zip ties here just to tie down random gear and whatever. For the rifle, I went with six mags, uh, so that allows for one in the gun, one in the pouch, and then four in the chest rig. A chest rig is a Haley Strategic uh, chest rig. It's one of the original versions. They got rid of this kind of weird pouch that I never can do anything with in the newer versions and just gave it two more pistol pouches. That was probably a smart upgrade. But this is one of the old ones. I don't use it a lot anymore, so it's going to go in the weapon stash area here. <clears throat> Extra batteries for the lights, because that's needed. Extra battery for the Aimpoint Pro. Sharpie, because you need that. A couple extra plastic baggies. A little pouch just to kind of collect all the small stuff. A schmog. This is a med kit. So this is a med kit from AR500 Armor. Used to be in my battle belt. Took it off there because I'm not going to need it any longer. Uh, there's a tourniquet in here, some chest seals, some gauze. I'm adding an Israeli bandage and just one set of gloves. For ammo management, I'm going to store uh, an ammo can that will hold the these the big 50 ones. They'll hold about a thousand rounds of AR. In case you don't know that, and the smaller ones will hold about a thousand rounds of nine. So for ammo storage, I'm going to utilize those two cans. Uh, gloves because. You should wear gloves when you're shooting a bunch, okay? Uh, cleaning rag, right here, just in general cleaning stuff. Cleaning kit, so this is an AR-centric cleaning kit. Toothbrush, lube, cleaning rod, stuff like that. Really, between the rag and the toothbrush is really what I'm going to use to clean most of the guns. I probably won't clean the uh, barrels on most of these guns and just kind of let them, let them cure and try that theory out. Just a basic utility blade here. This is a... Dozer by K Bar. It's a good little pocket knife. It's like 20 bucks. Um, don't use it a whole lot anymore. I've had some other things that I EDC, so this is going to go in here because that'll be a good little uh, utility blade. Set of ears, uh, Howard Light, the one that everyone has, right? Uh, great set of ears. And that's it. That's my whole weapons cache. Alright, well, that's it. That, that's my weapons cache. If you don't like it, uh, Cry me a river, leave a bad comment. I, I don't really care. It's mine, it's not yours. So you can build a better one and you can post a video and show that uh, to me, it'll be great. But I hope that's helpful. Hope that gives you some ideas and a better understanding of kind of what you might want to include in yours, what you might not want to include in yours, what the purpose of yours would be. Again, I think that's very important. Without that, it's really hard to build a weapons cache because I, I don't, you know, without a purpose, without an idea of where you're going, it's hard to get there, right? Uh, that's all I got for you. Do brave deeds and endure.